This is Ramon from olympicpistol.com and today I'm going to show you what's inside my range backpack. I already have a new one that I'm going to use and this is a great backpack, very inexpensive, very easy to carry, can fit a lot of things and it has lots of places to put locks in so you can easily comply with legislation. Um, first let's go with the biggest part, so you see that I carry usually my earmuffs here outside, it depends on what I'm, I carry in the second pouch of the bag. So this is my main bag, bag pouch, for what I, and this is what I have, uh, you see some ammo for the pistols at the range, but water bottle, uh, piece of cloth, piece of cloth to clean up stuff, my air pistol, this kind of cases fits perfectly. The bigger ones like the framework bow, uh, original one is just too big. So I bought this case, which is just like the ones with Pardini and Steyer. Um, they just fit great inside and they give you plenty of room. As you can see, I have a lock here. So what I do is I close it here. And this way I can carry my ammunition in this side, even if I carry another weapon here. So when I have a gun here, a pistol, uh, it's different configuration, but whatever always comes is my shooting glasses, my shoes, my shooting shoes, but I'm gonna remove them now. I'm not, I'm trying not to shoot with shooting shoes for a while, just to work on my balance and to make it easier for me. Same thing for the belt. I've decided to get used to not shooting with the belt. I just carry too much shit around. Um, here's a gift I got not long ago. Just uh, the stickers for the targets that I use as targets themselves. To work on uh, tighter holds. The oh, trainer's body. This is a um, great tool for finding exercises to do, depending on what you want to train that day. What else is here? This is good, this is good, empty. You see that it has two pouches, extra pouches here, so you can put stuff inside, like I had my stickers. Then, I'm gonna take this out, sorry. In the back, you have this, a uh, bag for papers, this part, back part that I usually don't use, I don't know why those papers are there. And then this is where I carry my computer when I have to carry it, and my papers and the, the results and everything. This is a result for a competition, a couple pens, this is where it starts to show how the how old it is. Um, I mean, I've had this bag, I think, for four or five years, and you can see here that it has suffered a bit, and it's, it's a bit broken. It's still usable, but it's a bit broken. Same as here, what happened is I added a second box. Sorry, where is, where am I? Here. I added a second box, and it was just too much. It, 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 it was too much. And I added it, it's not only that I added a second pistol box, I added the pistol box inside the card bo box that it came with. And that was a big mistake. I should not just not have closed the zipper all the way and everything would have been fine. So that was my mistake. Um, what else? Here, front pouch. The upper pouch for me is what I carry the most essential things. Pellet box, I'm also gonna get rid of it for a while. I have my one chronometer, the, uh, I don't know how you call this, uh, this is where I register my registered uh, sessions for the Federation, I have to do 12 a year to clean my pistol, these I use uh, inside the pellet boxes so that the pellets don't move that much, like for example you see this pellet box. It doesn't have them yet, so I, if I add this, I want to believe that they move less. Uh, 
my stamp, I'm a verifier for the National Federation, hand cream, pistol rules, cards, framework bug grease for my pistol, more pens, and yes, target holders. And then in the bottom, what I have is my lighter to blacken the sides that I had to put inside a box because the other one I had, it just ran out of gas uh, and it's stunk in the, in the bag. I carry too much stuff. This is a pouch that I try, I'm trying to keep things tidier. So these are, this is stuff I use for my lessons that I give. Hey, this is for an, a, a backup. Uh, a bucket chronometer that should be here somewhere. Cables to charge up my phone. Notes. Uh, a lot of locks for just uh, the triggers and the different uh, pouches just to make sure that I have them. A meter. A tag. Scotch tape, great to, with the weird targets I use because they're too small. Um, tools, more cards, more locks, and a charger. Hey, and a 3D printer, Bardini dry fire plug. And this, I don't know what it is. Um, what else is here? Oh, you have a, a space here. So you can add your business card. Just to make sure that in case the, the bag gets lost, so it will be easier to retrieve. And both sides have these kind of things that um, you can tighten your bag. It has a carry-on handle here on the side. It has another one on top. You can hang your water bottle here. And you can also, here I broke it not so long ago, it, it just came out. It, and I, I guess I had it too tight. This goes in the chest. It's a chest strap, so it's more comfortable to carry. Uh, all in all, an awesome, awesome bag. I bought a hot. Uh, it's a hot tuna brand, and I just bought another one. They changed the model, just the color, so it's it's full black. And you see that I paid uh, 24 euros for it. It's just a great. It's the best range bag for my needs and I like that it's easily to, easy to find and it fits everything. I hope you found this interesting. Tell me what you want me to talk about in the next videos.